Uh, today in Memphis, the city is bracing for possible unrest surrounding the planned release of video of the violent police encounter that led to the death of Tyree Nichols. The five former officers were part of a specialized Scorpion anti-crime unit. They're facing charges, and CBS's Jared Hill is in Memphis with the latest. Justice for Tyree! Justice for Tyree! A vigil was held overnight for Tyree Nichols at a skate park in Memphis. Later today, the city is expected to release body cam and fixed camera footage of the violent January 7th police arrest that led to his death three days later. I didn't see it, but from what I hear, it's going to be horrific. His mother, Rovon Wells, addressed the crowd gathered at the vigil, calling for peaceful protests. I don't want us burning up our cities, tearing up the streets, because that's not what my son stood for. Attorneys for Nichols' family say the 29-year-old dad, FedEx worker, and avid skateboarder was shocked, pepper sprayed, beaten, and restrained when Memphis police pulled him over on suspicion of reckless driving near his home. The five officers involved were fired and now face charges that include second degree murder, aggravated assault, and aggravated kidnapping. What happened here does not at all reflect proper policing. This was wrong, this was criminal. The city is on edge as it prepares for the release of that footage expected to happen later this evening. Local schools here have canceled after school and athletic activities out of an abundance of caution. Police departments in major cities around the country are also on heightened alert for possible unrest in response to the planned release. Meanwhile, the FBI and Department of Justice say a civil rights investigation has been opened. Jared Hill, CBS News, Memphis. As of last night, two of the former officers charged in Nichols' death were released on $250,000 bond while the other three remain in custody.